courtesy call before your service contract expired and you lose your coverage. This will hold you financially responsible for all service without your coverage. Press 1 now if you wish to extend or reinstate the vehicle service contract on your vehicle. Once again, press 1 now or press 2 to be pl Please hold while you are being transferred. Hey, my name is Alia from the warranty division. Can you verify the year, make and model of your vehicle to pull up your file? It is a, a 2016 Dodge Caravan. Sir, how many miles are currently on your vehicle? Um, I think the last time I checked, it was around 117,000. That oh, sounds right. about right. Thank you so much. And sir, for the last verification, can you verify your zip code? It is uh, 32216. It's 32216 from Florida, right? Uh, yep, that's correct. All right. So, sir, here's the thing. I want you to stay on the line for a moment while I get you over to your specialist, okay? Oh, okay. Sure. I'll hold on. All right. Please hold. I'll transfer you now. Cool. Okay. For holding. My name is Vanessa. I'm one of the authorized agents. Can you hear me okay? Oh uh, yeah, Vanessa, I can hear you just fine. Great. The reason you were transferred over, your original factory coverage on your vehicle does show expired and past the cutoff point, but I can definitely go over your options to keep the vehicle covered. I just need to confirm your mileage. It says it's around 117,000. Uh, yes, that's correct. Okay, thank you for confirming that. And I do need to wait the inspection. Have you had any mechanical issues, such as a check engine light or any fluids leaking that you're aware of? Uh, not that I'm aware of, no. That would be a good thing, so I'm glad to hear that. So what I can do is waive your inspection, and with that being said, I can offer you up to another five full years of coverage on the vehicle. Okay. It would cover all your, it will cover all your parts, all of your labor, it does cover your state tax, your diagnostics, towing and rental fees are included. This is a five-year plan, so it would take you up until March the 3rd of 2027 and up until the odometer reaches 218,000 miles, and that is whichever one would come first, but it is five years at the highest level. It would cover your engine, transmission, your drive axles, all of the fuel delivery system, your heating and air conditioning system, all of your cooling system, your seals and gaskets, but most importantly would be the electrical system. When you do need something repaired, you can take it to any Dodge dealership or any ASC certified mechanic. When you pick up your vehicle, the only thing you're responsible for is a $100 deductible. Okay. Your program... Your program does include 24-7 free roadside service, towing, but also a rental vehicle is provided anytime the vehicle does need to go for repairs. Now, before I do go over the cost with you today, um, do you have any questions at all, or would you say it all makes sense so far? Uh, so far, it all makes sense. So, Good. I'm glad to hear that. And what, what, is, so the name today, of the, what, is, what is the name of the company that will be covering the car, the van? Advanced, advanced Auto Protection. Advanced Auto Protection, okay. Yes, AAP. So the down payment to get enrolled would be $295 down. This activates the protection plan. Sure, And sure. we would be mailing out your coverage packet with your policy ID cards. You should receive everything in the mail in approximately five to seven business days roughly. And then you'll have 30 days. It's a guaranteed 30-day review period and a 1,000-mile validation. After the 30 days, you would have 24 monthly installments of 195. So that means you would be paid off for your coverage in the first 24 months, and you are covered while you pay. After
after the 24th month is paid off, your coverage is activated and still active until March 3rd of 2027, mm -hmm. and that's completely payment free. Okay. So, do you guys have again, a uh, do you guys have a website or something that I can check out? Yes, yes, you can. Sure, uh, it's under use. That's U S E, the word use, and then the letter A A P. dot com. Use A A P. dot com. Okay. Yes, sir. That's just that's our website. Okay. And do you have a, a callback number? Um, we do have a customer service number when we enroll you, yes, so you can call us back. Okay, what's that number? Well, I, that's for customer service, so you haven't enrolled yet, so we don't, you know, we wouldn't be giving that until you enroll the vehicle. Um, is there any reason you wouldn't want to set it up today? Is there anything that's holding you back specifically? Well, depending on the cost, it's something I'd probably want to look into, see if there was something else, uh, if there was a more feasible, more affordable option out there. Well, no, I understand. It's not, since it, it didn't just expire yesterday, it's been expired past 31 days and some, so you can't, and I don't know if you're aware, you just can't open and roll a vehicle at any time. And what that means is, if you are getting quotes and you're getting different estimations of things, right, um, right. If you liked one, you can just call someone back and then say, "I want to enroll it." Um, you'd have to get a physical inspection, and today we waive that for you. So that's around three hundred sixty dollars. So what we oh, do well, for you? So you I, can, I get these. I get these call. I get these calls all the time from you guys. So I mean, it's really not an issue with if well, I don't I, do it today, I, I get another well, opportunity that's, that's, later. That's, so that's your that's your decision. That's yeah. your decision. But I have spoken to you, but. I haven't, uh, you know, already waived the inspection, but it, it, it really, you can't just enroll your car because you'd have to pay for that inspection at this point. And, and is whether we call you tomorrow and offer it again, um, we do try to meet or beat any quotes. Have you gotten any of the quotes cheaper? I haven't even looked yet, but I, I probably should. Oh, I mean, that would no. probably be the smart thing to do, don't you think? Well, I would have done it a lot sooner. I mean, you, you expired after the first three years and 36000 so in 2019, which is, you know, three years ago, right, your electrical right. expired and you had a five year 60,000 and being at 117,000 miles. Um, but that's, again, where I go back and try to explain you have right. 30 days to do all your diligence. Like, for example, if you put down the deposit, let's say you do mm -hmm. and you get the policy, you have 30 days and it's a full money back guarantee. So if you happen to say not want to keep it for any reason, you can call back and get a full refund. But you can't just open and roll your vehicle. So I understand that, you know, you weren't expecting the call today or you get calls, like you said, all the time. Oh, yeah. And I do understand that. But the main concern is to make sure that you don't ruin any future eligibility since it's already considered a high risk because you're over 100,000 miles. Right, And right. as you wait longer, the price goes up. I mean, now, the longer you wait, the less coverage you get. Now, does my, do, do the records that you have show when I bought the car, when I bought the vehicle? No, it, it does no, oh. no, it just goes by, no, not at all. It doesn't get us that kind of personal information. But, oh, so you don't know um, if I just bought like the car last year and got an extended warranty when I bought it, then you don't know that. That's a possibility. Well, no, most people, most, you know, it, it is a possibility. Yeah, it is a yeah. possibility, but you know, being at 117,000 miles, if you did have one and it was at 117 or maybe, say, 100,000, right. um, you know, it, the dealerships don't usually give um, a full factory warranty on pre-owned vehicles. But, I mean, again, I don't know that. But if you'd like to take a step in the, you know, the right direction, you know, I can help you out in any way you want. But um, it would you would have to get an inspection at that point. And like I said, um, you can't even open and enroll a vehicle at the dealership. You would have to pay that in full. So right, right. You go to a dealership, you have to pay for the inspection, and the policy has to be paid in full. And again, they don't take payment arrangements. And, and another little secret, and it's not really a secret, the dealerships aren't the ones that do the factory warranty anyway. It's done by an administrator. So it's it's through an administrator, which is an insurance broker. Right, And our administrators right. do underwrite coverage for Dodge vehicles nationwide. So you can use this at any Dodge dealership or any ASC certified, and it would be honored and accepted. So, like I said, um, you know, if you have money to, to enroll at any time, you know, you would have to pay it in full. But sure, also sure. an inspection would be required at that point. But there's um, also... I am speaking to you. I don't know if you Yeah, there's also the possibility that I'm still covered under a warranty from the from when I bought it, though, right? You have well, no idea if I that's true or no. not. Well, as far as I see on the vehicle itself, it's showing that it's expired. I mean, 
when I'm looking at a seven, a 16 Dodge, you know, again, the year making model is 16 Dodge Grand Caravan. It doesn't show that it has coverage. I mean, that's what I see here. So I, I don't see anything. Um, I could be wrong, but I usually not. And usually I do know, you know, when we call it's for a good reason. And you're, but, but you're are you even interested. I mean, you're looking at, you're looking like at that. the, you're looking at the records from my specific vehicle. No, I don't. I, there's not a bunch of records. It's a file. It's just a file with your, you know, name and then your vehicle. So oh, okay. It, it, all, all Dodge. Okay, so for example, all Dodge Grand Caravans have only three years and thirty six on the original factory. And sure, I'm sure. Going off the original factory of the vehicle. And and what name is listed under my vehicle? Just curious. Well, I haven't pulled any of that up. I haven't pulled anything up yet because you know, oh, you say you wanted okay. to, you know. But you're in Florida, right? Yeah, yeah. So, in other words, you don't know anything about me or my vehicle, is what you're saying. Ah! <laughs> logic! Got her with logic! <laughs> she tried hard, she tr and she made a lot of sense. She did, and I appreciate that. But just some very simple questions, and they know nothing about you. They know nothing about you. They know nothing about your vehicle. They're just trying to sell you something that you may not even need. That's the scam. All right, enjoy. Hey everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.